Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering exam. Today we are going to see the problem related with uh, construction project management uh, in the topic of scheduling. So in the, the PERT problem we are going to solve. So the PERT means the program evaluation review techniques. So the problem is find the critical path and project completion time. Uh, so the given value is activity. So they are giving activity. So 1 and 2, 1 and 3, 2, 2, 3, 2, 2, 4. 2 to 6, 3 to 4 and 3 to 5, 4 to 5, 4 to 6 and 5 to 6. So from that the, the activity corresponding duration the T optimistic, uh, time optimistic time and uh, most likely time and pessimistic time are given. So the optimistic time means uh, the activity 1 and 2 is uh, everything go perfectly uh, as per plan. Uh, we can complete the 1 and 2 activity in 2 days. If uh, the average time of completion is uh, 5 days. In case the planning is uh, everything uh, went wrong, so the completion time of uh, 1 and 2 activity is uh, 8. So from that we can find out the uh, duration So using the formula. So we know the formula uh, estimated time equal to T optimistic plus 4 T M plus T P divided by 6. So we know the formula. So the uh, in each and every activity we have to find out the estimated time. So uh, T not the first activity one and two activity T not is two, uh, then plus four into the T M value is five. Again plus the T pessimistic time is eight. So divided by six. So from that we can find uh, from that we can uh, get the value of uh, five days. So the estimated completion time of 1 and 2 activity is 5 days. So likewise we can calculate all the things 1 and 3, 2 to 3, 2 to 4, 2 to 6 everything we have to complete. So from that we can get the value of 1 to 3 is uh, 4 then uh, 2 to 3 is a dummy activity so that's why the duration is 0. So uh, again the estimated time also 0. Uh, 2 to 4 is 4 then uh, 2 to 6 is 7.5 then uh, 3 to 4 is uh, estimated time is 5.5. Then uh, 3 to 5 is uh, 6, then uh, 4 to 5 is 6.33, then uh, 4 to 6 is uh, 5, then 5 to 6 is 4. So uh, we got the estimated time, so TE value. So using this time, uh, we can uh, draw the uh, network path diagram. So first uh, 1 to 2, so 1 to 2, the value is uh, 5. So then we can draw 1 to 3. So 1 to 3 the duration is 4. Uh, then 2 to 3. So 2 to 3 is dummy activity. So we can uh, put dotted line. So next uh, next value is uh, 2 to 4. So 2 to 4 we can draw. So 4. So 2 to 4 the value is uh, again 4, uh, then uh, the dummy activity the value is 0, uh, then uh, again we can uh, draw 2 to 6, so 6 activity 2 to 6 uh, the value is uh, 7.5, then 3 to 4, so we can draw 3 to 4. So 3 to 4 the value is 5.5 .5. then uh, 3 to 5 we can draw 3 to 5 so 3 to 5 is uh, the value is 6 uh, then again 4 to 5 4 to 5 the value is uh, 6.33 uh, then again 4 to 5 uh, is completed and 4 to 6. So 4 to 6 the value the duration is 5 uh, then 5 to 6 the value uh, the duration is 4. So we can complete the network diagram. So this is the network diagram. So from that we can calculate the different net network paths and uh, the completion time and critical path uh, uh, we can derive. So from that network path we can uh, we can write the path. So different path to complete the activity. So uh, first path is 1, 2, 6. Second path is 1, 2, 4 and 6. So that is uh, 1, 2, 6, then 1, 
टू फोर सिक्स लाइक वाइज वी कैन राइट ऑल द पॉथ अगेन वन टू फोर फाइव सिक्स नेक्स्ट पॉथ इज वन थ्री फोर सिक्स नेक्स्ट पॉथ वन टू थ्री फाइव सिक्स नदर पॉथ इज वन टू थ्री फोर सिक्स अनदर पॉथ वन थ्री फाइव सिक्स अगेन अनदर पॉथ वन थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सो फ्रॉम दैट वी कैन राइट द रेस्पेक्टिव ड्यूरेशन सो फाइव प्लस सेवन पॉइंट फाइव दैट इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व पॉइंट फाइव डेज देन सेकेंड पॉथ वैल्यू इज फाइव प्लस फोर प्लस फाइव इक्वल टू फोर्टीन देन थर्ड पॉथ फाइव प्लस फोर प्लस सिक्स पॉइंट थ्री थ्री प्लस फोर इक्वल टू नाइनटीन देन नेक्स्ट पॉथ फोर प्लस फाइव पॉइंट फाइव प्लस फाइव इक्वल टू फोर्टीन पॉइंट फाइव देन नेक्स्ट पॉथ फाइव प्लस जीरो प्लस सिक्स प्लस फोर इक्वल टू फिफ्टीन देन नेक्स्ट पॉथ फाइव प्लस जीरो प्लस फाइव पॉइंट फाइव प्लस फाइव इक्वल टू फिफ्टीन पॉइंट फाइव देन नेक्स्ट पॉथ इज फोर प्लस सिक्स प्लस फोर इक्वल टू फोर्टीन देन फोर प्लस फाइव पॉइंट फाइव प्लस सिक्स पॉइंट थ्री थ्री प्लस फोर इक्वल टू नाइनटीन पॉइंट फाइव From the the path contains a maximum duration is critical path and uh, the the duration is critical duration. So the critical duration is the project completion time. So from that path, uh, so the only nineteen point five is the maximum uh, duration. So uh, so we can take one, three, four, five, six as a uh, critical path and uh, the critical duration or project completion duration is nine point sorry nineteen point five. So we can draw the critical path as a double uh, double line. So one three four uh, one three four five six. So one three four five six. So this is the critical path one three one three four five then six. So this is the critical path and the critical uh, duration is nine point five. So this is the answer. so this is the method we can solve the third problem again we will see in next video thank you